Hey, and welcome to another Let's Talk TV. This is episode 71. And we're going to talk about another anthology series. This one is Are You Afraid of the Dark? Another one aimed at children that ran between 1991 and 2003. No, it didn't. 1991 and 1999, actually. Sorry, silly me. Anyway. Over that time, there were seven seasons. 91 episodes total, so 13 per season. And the premise is simple. A group of kids who call themselves the Midnight Society gather around the campfire to share scary stories. Now, I've seen the first five full seasons and that's basically all I say you need to see of this to get properly hooked because I saw some of season six and it lost its edge in my opinion after that. So here are some episodes that uh, I think might be up your alley if you're willing to check this out. So these are my personal 10 favourite episodes. And those episodes are... Tale of the Pinball Wizard. That's the story of a kid who gets trapped in a shopping mall after hours. And the characters of a pinball game come to life and he has to fight them. The rescue princess. Well, okay. Okay, so that's number ten. Number nine. The tale of the Phantom Cab. Now this was the very first episode of the show. It tells the story of two young boys who are walking through the woods and they hitch a ride in a cab that disappears after dropping them off. Yes, a phantom cab. So it doesn't just drive away, it vanishes. Okay, number eight. <laughs> the Tale of the Thirteenth Floor. Now, this episode is about two kids who have new neighbours moving in on the thirteenth floor, which is where they go and play. And these new neighbours are a bit odd, to say the least. Eccentric, yes, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised how they keep inviting them, the kids up to test out games with them. And the twist at the end, I won't give it away, just see it for yourself. Okay, number seven, the tale of the laughing, or the tale of laughing in the dark. Now, this episode is your basic scary clown story. It's the story of a kid. It goes into a haunted house ride at a theme park and steals a clown's nose, only to then find out the clown from the ride has followed him home. And yes, it even has that classic. Mm hmm. Phone coming. Phone call coming from inside the house. Gag.
Okay, number six, the tale of the prom queen. In this episode, a group of kids are investigating the story of a young girl who was killed in a hit and run accident on her way home from um from prom. And again, it has another shocking twist at the end that I'm not going to reveal. Just watch the episode for yourself. I can tell you that it bears an almost close resemblance to the vanishing hitchhiker urban legend. Okay. And number five, we have. I think I'm getting this name right. It's from season five. So at number five, we have an episode from season five The Tale of. The unexpected guess. Basically, it's the story of aliens that abduct children by catching them in ultrasound webs. I oh, know. <laughs> that freaked me out when I saw it. I watched it on YouTube. Uh, yeah. One episode that actually did succeed in scaring me. <laughs> now you know I'm afraid of spiders webs. Don't ask me why. <laughs> and it turns out that in the end, well, watch the episode to find out how it ends actually. Okay, now at number four we have The Tale of Apartment 214. Now this actually tells the story of a mother and daughter who moved into a new apartment, number 213. And they're told not to go into apartment number 214. Then she goes, the girl goes in there anyway and is greeted by a kindly old lady. Who she then becomes friends with. And later stitches up. But how does it end? Well, see it for yourself guys. See it for yourselves. Okay, number three, the tale of the super specs. Now this tells the story of, well, a pair of magic glasses that can make its wearer, whoever wears them, be able to see invisible people. Now, the idea of having invisible people, people who you can't see, that are always around you. It's an intriguing concept. And just to see what kind of mishaps these guys in this story get up to.
I'll be right back. And number two, guys, is the Tale of the Dollmaker. Tale of the Dollmaker. Okay, now, the story in this episode is that a young girl sneaks into an old abandoned house right next door to her aunt's that she's told to stay out of. Because her daughter went missing a few years back, a year, a couple of years back, and um, she goes in there and, well, there's a doll's house in the attic. So she goes inside and plays games with another doll. Now, how does this episode end? Well, you'll have to watch it and find out. <laughs> now, I would shout out some honourable mentions. Actually, I think I will. Um, some honourable mentions go to... Tale of the Renegade Virus, The Tale of the Long Ago Locket, and the two part story, The Tale of Cutter's Treasure. And now we lead in. To my absolute favourite episode that I've seen out of all the seasons. That I've seen. It is the tale of the phone police. Now this episode tells the story of a boy that likes to go around making prank calls. His sister tells him that if he doesn't stop the phone police will come and get him. To come and, get him. and then she tells him the story of Billy Baxter who was caught by the phone police for doing the exact same thing. He gets caught by the phone police he escapes from the phone police with the aid of his friend, who was also a prank caller. And yes, obviously, I might as well tell you how it ends. Because there's no real twist. We all know that the phone police aren't real. So there you go. That's... Uh, are you afraid of the dark topic, guys? Now you don't actually have to follow my listing of top 10 because those are my personal favourite episodes. You may have different opinions. Which I'll respect if you do. But that's it for this episode. And join me in the next episode soon. Until then, bye!